hi guys welcome back again to my channel there were lots of positive and negative reactions from my previous video on slavery and a lot stood against Candace Owens belief on slavery and I got lots of backlash from that particular video like lots of comments that were really not nice um the thing is I this is my first time actually diving into something like this and I love to learn I don't know the right source or the right history book to read to actually get to learn or get to know the right information on slavery i will watch this video with an open mind and at the end of this video i will speak on my thoughts concerning this taken from the book black rednecks and untold facts about slavery the instrumental use of the history of slavery today also underlies the claim that slavery grew out of racism for most of its long history, which includes most of the history of the human race, slavery was largely not the enslavement of racially different people, for the simple reason that only in recent centuries has either the technology or the wealth existed to go to another continent to get slaves and transport them en masse across an ocean. People were enslaved because they were vulnerable, not because of how they looked. The peoples of the Balkans were enslaved by fellow Europeans, as well as by the peoples of the Middle East, for at least six centuries before the first African was brought to the Western Hemisphere. Before the modern era, by and large, Europeans enslaved other Europeans, Asians enslaved other Asians, Africans enslaved other Africans, and the indigenous peoples of the Western Hemisphere enslaved other indigenous peoples of the Western Hemisphere. Okay. Slavery was not based on race, much less on theories about race. Only relatively late in history did enslavement across racial lines occur on such a scale as to promote an ideology of racism that outlasted the institution of slavery itself. Wherever a separate people were enslaved, they were disdained or despised, whether they were different by country, religion, caste, race, or tribe. In East Africa... The Maasai were feared slave raiders, and other African tribes, either alone or in conjunction with Arabs, enslaved their more vulnerable neighbors. As late as 1891, it was reported that Manuema slavers had demoralized surrounding tribes, destroying crops, and famine reigned everywhere. Even in the early 20th century, Abyssinians were still raiding other Africans and carrying off slaves. It was 1922 before the British had gained sufficient control in Tanganyika to stamp out slavery there. Arabs were the leading slave raiders in East Africa, ranging over an area larger than all of Europe. The total number of slaves exported from East Africa during the 19th century has been estimated to be at least 2 million. The form what? in which the story of slavery has reached most people today has been along the lines of the best-selling book and widely watched television miniseries, Roots, by Alex Haley. Challenged on the historical accuracy of Roots, Haley said, I tried to give my people a myth to live by. This instrumental use of history, or purported history, is open to the same objections as other instrumental myth-making. Despite the impression created by Roots, during the era of the massive slave trade from West Africa, a white man was more likely to catch malaria in Africa than to catch slaves himself. The Let me get that. A white man was likely to catch malaria in Africa than to catch slaves himself. Okay. Okay, I get it. Average life expectancy of a white man in the interior of sub-Saharan Africa at that time was less than one year. By and large, men from Europe or the Western Hemisphere came to the coasts of Africa, bought their slaves, and left as soon as possible. Okay. Even so, the death rates among the white crews of the ships carrying slaves to the Western Hemisphere were as high as the death rates among the slaves themselves. It was only much later after quinine and other medical measures enabled Europeans to survive where there were tropical diseases, was it possible for them to invade Africa in force and establish empires there? But Before I 
forget what I'm what I want to say okay so from what I have watched or heard so far yeah slavery started within a particular region like started within people neighbors neighbors enslaving themselves it was not a thing of race it was not a thing of color okay from what i have listened to so far and he said something about being easier for the white to um, catch malaria in africa than to catch slaves which means the whites were not just coming down to africa to forcefully take africans out of africa to make them slaves it simply means it was africans that were still giving out their fellow africans to these white people they were the ones selling africans out to the europeans if you have any other video contrary to this please let me know in the comments let's continue the atlantic slave trade had already been ended during the era of that trade, Africa was largely ruled by Africans who established the conditions under which slave sales took place. The crew of a slave ship was in no position to defy African rulers and their armies by going out across the land and capturing people willy-nilly. The stronger African peoples captured and enslaved the weaker peoples. The same pattern found exactly over the centuries in Europe, Asia, the Western Hemisphere, and Polynesia. In the Asa land, the Ngoni and Yao swaggered over and terrorized other tribes. In Uganda, the Baganda made life miserable for their neighbors. And the Nioro and Hima of Anko enslaved Toro women and children. The Tutsi dominated the Hutu in Rwanda. The Maasai lorded it over the Kikuyu and Kamba. And the latter, in turn, held the Indorobo in a kind of serfdom. It was precisely the fact that Europeans, except for the Portuguese, seldom participated in the raids that captured and enslaved Africans that enabled most people in Europe and the Americas to remain oblivious to the traumatic experience that this was, with some Africans committing suicide to avoid capture and wives being whipped as they tried to cling to their husbands or children. Historian oh David shit. Brian Davis pointed out that Europeans had little contact with the actual process of enslavement, and that as late as 1721, the Royal African Company asked its agents to investigate the modes of enslavement in the interior. Europeans typically saw only the end results, enslaved people being offered for sale on the coast. It was much the same story in the Ottoman Empire, where those who bought slaves had no idea what these slaves had been through before. The unique position of the Western world in the history, and especially the destruction of slavery, need not imply that there was unanimity within the West on this institution. In addition to whites who defended the enslavement of Africans on racial grounds, or who opposed general emancipation on social grounds, there were many whites and even blacks, who defended slavery as a matter of self-interest as slave owners. Although most black owners of slaves in the United States were only nominal owners of members of their own families, there were thousands of other blacks in the antebellum South who were commercial slave owners, just like their white counterparts. An estimated one-third of the free persons of color in New Orleans were slave owners, and thousands of these slave owners volunteered to fight for the Confederacy during the Civil War. Black slave owners were even more common in the Caribbean. In short, mm. there were many defenders of slavery in the West, even in the 19th century. And outside the West, slavery was too widely accepted to require defense. No other nation ended slavery in the same way as the United States did, and few ended it after so short a struggle, as history is measured. How and why did slavery end in most of the world? There were two major processes. Over the centuries, as more and more territories around the world consolidated into nation-states with their own armies and navies, Raiding those territories to capture and enslave the people who lived within them became more hazardous in itself and also risked military retaliation against the countries from which the raiders came. Thus, more and more peoples became off-limits to slave raiders over time. 
Put differently, the areas which remained subject to slave raiding over the centuries were primarily those where the people lived in smaller or weaker societies. Such societies continued to exist where it was difficult, for geographic or other reasons, to consolidate large areas under one government. This was true of the Balkans, the backwaters of Asia, and much of sub-Saharan Africa. By the early modern era, sub-Saharan Africa, with its numerous and severe geographic handicaps, was one of the last remaining areas from which vast numbers of people could be enslaved. I didn't even know I've come to the end of this video. Why did it end like that? Let me see if that's truly the end. Wow. <laughs> no way this was going to make me cry. Mm. Okay. Let me just be sure that this ended the right way. Okay, yeah, it did. So, the thing is, in all of this slavery um, thing, no one is innocent, okay? No race, no color is innocent. The blacks also enslaved people. The whites also enslaved people. I literally heard him say, the whites enslaved the whites also. So it was more of the stronger people enslaving the weaker ones. Maybe let's say like the more richer people enslaving the poorer ones. Maybe, maybe that could be something like that. Because even blacks were enslaving blacks. So in all of this, no one is innocent. I'm not saying the whites are sent. They are not sent. The blacks too are not sent. That's, that's what I've got to really understand from um, Thomas so well. If you have anything, any video, any book, history book contrary to this, let me know in the comments. I would gladly read it or listen or watch the video, okay? Because I feel like there's just so much about slavery that is not being talked about. Yes, thank God. Um... There's an end to slavery in some places because I heard Candice Owens saying slavery is still on today. I don't know how true that is. I do not know. If you think that's true, let me know in the comments also. I don't know how true that is that people still enslave people even in Africa today. I don't know how true that is except for the fact that, yes, there are these rich people that are kind of like um, intimidating the less privileged, okay? Except for politicians that, you know what I mean? Like using one's position to intimidate other people. Maybe that, but like enslaving people, like making them work for you and all of that without payments and everything. I don't know if that is still on today. I really do not know, even though Candace Owens mentioned that. Thomas Sowell spoke with a clean heart, with a clear heart, not supporting any race, okay? You just made me understand that, yes, before slavery, before the white people even came down, before the Europeans came down to Africa to capture any slave, to capture the Africans, to make them slaves, there were already slavery going on in Africa and there was also slavery going on in Europe and other continents. And it just happened that the Europeans came down and then they did not just come down with guns. Okay, hey, become my slave, go with me. I don't think that was what happened. I think it was literally black people giving out their fellow black people to Europeans as slaves in exchange for whatever it was i do not know but thank god for today it's no longer like before even though they still say they're slavery but it's no longer like before okay guys thank you for watching this video with me 
I hope you watched with an open heart like I did. I do not hate any race. This is not racism, okay? This is just me trying to learn and I mean like let's love lead. Let's 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 love one another. Race or no race, color or no color, religion or no religion, love one another. We are human, we are one, we are the same. And stop being cruel or rude or hostile to other people that you feel you're stronger than. Okay? Alright, so this brings us to the end of this video. Um, if you're new here, ensure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you all next time. Until then, please stay safe out there.